Hi there. I'm Jeff King, aka Redbeard, and today we're installing a swing away inline jack. The only tools you're going to need for this are a couple of pliers, or wrenches as you can see there. There's the jack. The one of the bad things about a trailer like this is that you can't unhook the trailer if you have if it's still loaded with any kind of serious load because of the weight because of then not being able to unload it because of a, a number of things so this is a project I've been wanting to do for a while it, it's pretty simple it just bolts right to the tongue of the trailer you pull out the pin it swings up for uh, for, for use uh, when you're done or when you're parked you, you pull the pin swing it down crank it up and lifts up the uh, the trailer to a, a level position uh, this allows you then to unhook the trailer it allows you to move the trailer even while loaded if you get the one with the wheel they do another one that just has a pin on it and or not pin I'm sorry a flat foot on it uh, but I wanted the ability to to move the trailer around easily uh, when it's up on the jack as you can see, I've done a little bit of fast forwarding through here because all it is is simply putting the two bolts through, putting the brackets on, uh, and putting bolts on the other side, or nuts on the other side. Um, <clears throat> and then just simply hang it right there on the tongue, um, get a feel for it, uh, make sure that you're not uh, interfering with anything else uh, there with uh, your wires, your cables, your, uh, your uh, tongue mechanism. And there's just a case of, of simply uh, tightening it down. Just like anything else like this, you're going to want to go in a rotation tightening process. Um, the, the one thing is, <laughs> while doing this, I remembered, oh yeah, I have power tools. So I eventually went and got my socket adapter. If you're going to go that route, I highly recommend that you, you know, go easy with the torque settings to make sure that because uh, you can always tighten it down more if you find it to be a little bit too loose but if you over tighten you know you're kind of screwed um, on this first installation I didn't use any Loctite or thread locker because uh, I never used a product like this before and uh, now granted this uh, this one's from tractor supply not from Harbor Freight but still in the same kind of quality Area. I wanted to make sure that this thing was going to be something I wanted to, to keep and have around for a while before I made it a mostly permanent installation. And I can tell you, after using it a few times, yeah, I love this thing. This, this is a, a great upgrade. I wish I'd done it a long time ago. Uh, it, it's dead simple to install it. And the one thing I'm looking to do next is install a spare tire carrier. And I'm hoping to use the same installation uh, to do just that as you see here I'm using the uh, my my drill driver to uh, make this a quick and painless installation now you pivot the jack now it's time to uh, bring it up on its on its own wasn't quite sure about how much pressure to put on it and, and really it was it was you know dead easy so simply unhook the, uh, or unlock the uh, the hitch, crank it up. As you can see there, it lifts right up. I make sure you have the wheels in the back chalked so that once you do this, it does not roll forward and crush you. And then simple as pulling away. It's a great install. It's super easy. Costs you between around 30-ish dollars uh, for one of these. You can get a tractor supply. You can get a Harbor Freight. If you guys have any questions about the install, uh, please uh, put them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and as always, shine on.